Well, well, welcome back to very, very blocky squall. Do you like him? Yeah, he, he needs some work, but we are currently out. Actually, you can look in here. Uh, we're at Shumi Village, and that's what we're gonna be doing um, a big, it's a fairly large quest. It's pretty, I don't say it's important, but we're gonna do it, and it's gonna take this entire episode because there's a lot of running back and forth in this episode. Yeah, that's gonna be one of the big things here. Probably no combat. Don't forget to grab this if it's purple. It is currently not purple. Please have a seat. Welcome to Shumi Village. You have been specially permitted here. We hope you enjoy your stay. The elevator will reach the village entrance shortly. Please exit through the door. Thank you, disembodied voice. I probably won't read the elevator stuff after this, like again, but. All right, so this is Shumi Village. We are underground, by the way. I don't know why there's trees down here, but it's fine. There's music. You can kind of hear it. Um, I don't think there's anybody here. There's a save point in here. There is uh, this, hmm? Yeah, there's a... Various floating items. I don't think there's much you could do in here. Anyway. But this music is... Probably reminiscent of something. I don't know if you guys can even hear it. I, I can barely hear it and I have the sound up high. Um, but it's a, a someone's piano playing. Hello and welcome. Specialist is surprised they let you in. Usually only merchants are permitted to come into our village. This is our negotiation table. This is where we exchange minerals with outside traders. You mine for minerals? Of course. You think we built a village 323 meters underground just for fun? Actually, there was a, bit, a little bit of fun in it. Okay. Well, anyway. I don't think we can go in that place, so let's just move on here. There's actually not a lot of places in here. Oh, hey. And you, you can't actually get past the Moomba at this point. Why there's a Moomba here? Uh, we'll find out in a little bit, actually. Uh, real quick here, if we go in here, because I do want to talk to the person in here, there is a Timber Maniac sitting there, and you don't want to grab that until disc three after a certain event. We'll come back for it, but if you grab it now, you will not have a person with you in a battle, a set of battles later. You're an outsider. Most of us here don't have a good impression of the outside world, but Artesian, Artesian knows there are some good things about it. Artisan! But Artisan knows there are some good things about it. Uh, artesian is uh, what you use for, like, cheese. Once Artisan stopped by a hopelessly foul wasteland and met with a wonderful group of people called Artisans. We have the same souls, the Artisans and the Shumis. That alone, the fact that there are people like them in the outside world makes your world worthy. Since then, the Artisans have had a major influence on my work. Take a look at this, for example. Take a look at this, for example. And also... <laughs> you said that you were an artisan, right? This That is a great honor. Artisan would like to visit those artisans again someday. Yeah, they, they their names are their, like, jobs. I don't know what Norg stands for, then. Oh, busy, busy, busy. Okay. Well, we want to come back here. Huh? It's hard to tell, but that's Laguna. Looks like Laguna. You know Master Laguna? <laughs> sort of. This is Laguna. Is it Lore? Lawyer? I'm going to go with Lore, because that's easier for me to say, because I'm not entirely sure. Long ago, a Moomba found this man lying near our village, covered with blood, and carried him to our village. It appeared that he had slipped and fallen off a cliff. We took care of him until his wounds were healed. If you wish to know more about Master Laguna, you should go talk to the Elder. 
Sculptor insists that you go talk to him. Sculptor is sure it will please the elder. You want to say okay. Excellent. For a foreigner, you have a big heart. Sculptor will tell the Moomba guarding the entrance to let you pass. Okay, so we want to do that because this is going to start the quest. You raise Moombas in this village? Raise? Moomba is one of the final forms that we Shumis take. Final form? You don't know. Excluding the ones qualified to become elders, all Shumis evolve at a certain stage of our lives. We become what is in our hearts. Often those who fail to become honorable elders turn into Moombas. The passionate ingenuity in their hearts gives rise to the red hair. It's common knowledge. Sculptor is surprised you didn't know. That sucks, turning into those beasts. Beasts? How dare you call them beasts? Yes, the ones who become elders are remarkable people, but what did you call them again? Beasts! Did you not see their noble features, their gem-like eyes revealing innocence, their bright red hair symbolizing passion, their spectacular hair signifying power, their soothing, adorable cries, their mighty hands with incredible strength, their proud postures demanding respect? Everything about them is great! Okay, alright. Man, you and your big mouth! Okay, so one thing uh, back here, you can actually grab a um, Fairaga. We'll just go ahead and do that. Sure, why not? And um, I don't think he has anything else to say. Anyway, please go see the elder. Yeah, no, we're fine. Let's let's go see the elder. Come on, you two idiots. I don't know if there's additional um, conversations or different conversations you can have if you don't have Zell with you. Whoops, we don't want to go up there. Yeah, that's that's all he does. Anyway, so now we can get the save point, but we can also go over here and find a Blazaga. I'm gonna go ahead and give that to Irvine. Uh, and we'll just stock the Blazagas as we come and go as well. We appreciate you coming forward. Since you have come here, you must know Master Laguna. Thank you for coming. Allow me to talk about Master Laguna for a moment. It was about 17 years ago when we found him injured. That's Squall's age, by the way. He was on his way to Esthar to save a girl named Elone who had been abducted by Esthar soldiers. He stayed here for a short while while his injuries healed. During his stay, he tried to teach a Moomba how to speak. Why? He told me that he felt sorry for the Moombas because they didn't know any words. He said that words are useful and precious. I believe that Moombas don't need to know words because the important things can be communicated without words. Perhaps we don't need words either. Even Master Laguna was not very good with words. His communication skills were horrible. Yeah, he's not a great communicator. But we still understood what he was desperately wanted to say, how eager he was to save Elone. His eyes, more than his words, told us this. That's all I have to say. Why are you building a statue of him? You find it strange, yes? I doubt you will understand. We believe that Master Laguna has a special something, that something is the power to attract people. We still don't know what it is, so we decided to build a statue of him. We felt that we may come to understand why Master Laguna is so special by doing this. That bumbling clown? I'd better not say anything. Okay, I don't think, um, please excuse my humble abode. What do you have to say? Pleased to meet you. They call me attendant. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Well, let's try and leave. Please wait. We would like to present you with a gift since you came all this way. But in Shumi, one must work to earn anything. This is our way. I have an idea. Please assist my attendants in the workshop so that I can present you with a gift. Where is it? It is where you saw Master Laguna's statue. We want to finish that statue as soon as possible. Okay, so let's get out of here. And we're going to go help get that statue finished. Rog, rog. There is nothing else in the town, by the way. So don't worry too much.
Okay, I gotta get the right spot to get to this guy. <laughs> Talk to me, please. Oh, and he is offering you that? Hmm. Wow, that is a great honor. It is rarely given, even to outsiders. Okay, shall we get to work? As you can see, Sculptor has the very big responsibility of making the statue. To finish it, Sculptor will need to do additional research on several stones. Sculptor would like you to go get them. All right. Sculptor needs five kinds of stone, shadow, wind, life, water, and blue. We don't know anything about stones. You'll be able to tell by their names. Don't worry, when in doubt, examine them carefully. Also, there's a specialist in the village who can help you. Okay, let's start with a blue stone. Okay, so I'm not gonna worry too much about like, I'm just gonna show you where to go. But when Squall says, huh, just go ahead and approach the area. This stone is blue. Hey, don't tell me this is the blue stone. What? Huh? Oh, oh. Sculptor completely forgot. Sculptor already had it. Well, that's one down and four more to go. Okay, next please go find some wind stones. Yet <laughs> face bomb. You can barely see him, that's what he's doing. Okay, so the next stone is the wind stone. So let's go ahead and get out of here. I think we've probably moved around enough that we could probably go get an Ultima draw if we wanted to. Actually, it might not be a bad idea to head down and see if that's actually possible, but we have to go this way anyway. So, yes. Huh? This looks like one of them. There's a breeze coming from it. I guess this is the windstone. Yeah, so if you just wanna go uh, back down, which like I said, might not be a bad idea to do. Um, we're gonna go, we're gonna have to go down anyway. But yeah, if you wanna grab the Ultima stuff, just head down here like this. I will probably cut out the way back up. The long trip back to the surface. And it looks like it's actually not ready yet. So, anyway, let's go back up. That was for pointless. I love how Squall just is always broody. Nice, we got paid. I did not, I actually probably should have done um, testing in between episodes. Alas, I did not. We have time. And another way of making money. So maybe we'll do that. I don't know. Let's go turn in the windstone. Hey, bud. Is this it? Yes, that's the windstone. Okay, three more to go. Next, sculptor needs some life stones. Okay. Also, look at that. Thank you, sir. Well, three's not great, but that's fine. It's whatever. So, life stones, if you head back to the elder's house. I keep wanting to say Eldar, and that's not right. And you examine this. There are stones under the roots. This must be the life stone. Okay, so once we have all that, uh, that one's not ready yet. So let's just head back and give him the life stone. There's a lot of wandering in this, this uh, whole thing, um, mini quest. Is this it? Yes, that's the life stone. Only two more to go. Next sculptor needs some shadow stones. Okay, so shadow stones, we actually do need to go back down at this point because the shadow stones are by the entrance. For the record, this is only the first part of the quest. There is actually two parts to this quest. So, we're gonna be we're gonna be here for a little bit. 
can ask for you to open. How dare you? Okay, so we're back down here. It looks like the Ultima spawn point has uh, re respawned. So let's go ahead and grab that. I'm gonna go ahead and have Squall. Ooh, he's got it equipped. Squall has it equipped. I did redo junctions. Uh, let's see here. Um, I just did uh, auto and it looks like Ultima was uh, probably, hang on. Uh, I'm going to assume, no, no, it actually was in magic. Where are you going? Uh, it was probably over here. Ooh, let's remove that because we were in an ice area. <laughs> Yeah, about that. Uh, no. Also, I guess uh, one of the other things I should point out is I actually did finish um, the Recover Med and Diablos, which I think was the status magic. So I got all those done last time. Um, you know, just to have those done and over with. What's this? There we go. See, they're in a shadow. More stones. Looks like the shadow stone. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. How do you know? I mean, there's like a ton of rocks down here. So how, I mean, what the rocks in a shadow? Like what makes it special? I legitimately don't have answers to that question. So don't ask. I don't know. I have no answers. I usually don't have answers in this game anyway, but this is even worse than normal. Is this it? Yes, that's the shadow stone. Wonderful. Lastly, Sculptor needs some water stones. Okay, so uh, this is a little bit longer and more confusing, but let's go, let's go get some water stones, shall we? So if you walk past here... Come on, where is it? Oh, there it is. What he'll do is he'll come over to the frog and be like, hey, look, there's another stone. Well, that's easy peasy. And the frog looks disturbed. How dare you take his rock? He was saving that. Is this it? No, this is a stone we put by the pond. Okay, so yeah, you have to do that though in order to move on. So just a heads up, that's actually something that must happen. I know it seems a little messed up, but it's fine. What you wanna do to get the water stone is you wanna go in to the artisan's house. Ignore the timber maniacs, huh? Oh, whoops, no, I want you to, could this be it? Yeah, look at the sink. Do you mind if I take this stone? Go ahead, Artisan only uses it for washing. Thanks. All right, so now we have all five stones. Is this it? Yes, this is the water stone. Congratulations, your job is complete. You may go see the elder now. All right, well, we'll go do that after I grab this Fireaga, which last time I did this, this never respawned. So that's cool. I guess, I actually don't know if it's a random number generator or something that causes them to, like, decides which ones respawn, how many steps it takes. I'm not entirely certain. I don't think it's a set number. Otherwise, it'd be really easy to cheese. <laughs> drawing spells. Yeah, see like the Blazaga's not yet respawned. Weird. The Eldar Elder will now present you with a gift. For your services, it gives me great pleasure to present you this. Uh-huh. Um, Elder, attendant is having a hard time seeing it. Oh. What is it? Am I missing something here? What the? I don't see anything. Ah, uh, isn't it amazing? When he holds something in his palm, you cannot even see it. Such is the power of the person who has attained eldership. 
I'm confused. So what's the gift? What else? The honor of seeing his hand. These great hands have shoveled the earth. These great hands have created wonders. These great hands justify his eldership. We are proud to send you off with this gift. Do stop by again. Good day. Hey. Now try to leave. Hold on. We forgot to give you a souvenir. It's embarrassing to present you with this silly thing after what we have already given you, but... Here you are. We get a phoenix pinion, so that's useful. Hey, it looks like you got something. Hey, what was that elder's hand thing all about? All right, let's explain. I think it was true. He kept his hands concealed since we met him. Judging from this place, they're pretty advanced, so they can't be stupid. They probably knew that the silly hand thing wasn't going to impress us. They sincerely admire Laguna, so they wanted to treat us kindly since we know him. Their kind gesture just came out weird, that's all. At least they tried. I think overall it was a decent, heartfelt welcome. All that just to welcome us, man. Oh well, I guess it was alright. Yeah, well, we got a little breather. That's good. Funny, the elder humbly concealed his hands. Norg, on the other hand, showed them off. On the other hand, ha! <laughs> What a sham. They probably know. Of course. There is a fierce shrewdness about their eyes, and an unimaginable destiny awaits them. There's no doubt that they knew. Then why did you bother with the charade? You should have just said, here, here's nothing. I did not want to give them material things. I wanted to give them a moment of peace and our heartfelt welcome. Hmm, sounds like a poor excuse. Yeah, so we did know. Um, Swell's not kidding. I have an assignment for you. Yes? Assist the sculptor in the shop. You will not rest or sleep until the statue is complete. What? Wait a minute. You misunderstood me, Elder. Please. Mercy. No. No. What was that? <laughs> All right. So at this point, we want to leave. Like, we want to leave the whole ass village at this point. Um, but this is part one of the quest. So once you've gotten this, uh, the Phoenix Pinion, by the way, I don't think we've had one of those before. Uh, you can use it in battle. And um, I believe it summons Phoenix, if I'm not mistaken which will revive all your party members. We are going for a no party member downed uh, run, so I think we'll be okay. Though that's gonna be really hard here. Uh, not too quick, uh, not too, too not too distant future. We're gonna be fighting the Tonberry King and um, good luck with that. I'll be ripping my head out, or hair out at the Centra ruins, I'll tell you. All right, so at this point we wanna leave. And um, you could move on, like you don't have to do this if you don't want to, because it is just a side quest, but we do. And I want to go ahead and grab that. Uh, you, What you could do, by the way, is go out and save. And if you only get, you know, um, five Ultimas rather than like double digits or four Ultimas, you don't have to accept that. You can just reload and then come back in uh, and hope that the RNG treats you better. Um, I don't care that much. Like, yeah, it'll take a little bit more for us to get full up on Ultimas, but it's fine. Um, maybe I should save out there before, it'll be fine. We can go in, but we want to go back into the village at this point. I don't, there is, yeah, it's just like the, the, the flag here is the fact that we have left the village. So the village has moved on in time, um, which I think is a little silly, but it's fine. I literally just have like a group of steps in my notes where it's just like, do this, 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 and this. And no details, so hopefully I remember exactly what to do. Oh yeah, you're gonna get paid a lot during this, which is actually why I was thinking. Oh, um, if you explain 
things to your party, you actually get, I think, half a rank, which is why we're back up to rank 13 by and by. Good job, team. That is still not respawn? That Moomba is adorable. <laughs> I'm sorry, the Moombas are cute. I know they're kind of like the cute thing in this game, but they sure as hell are. What do you have to say? You're just saying busy again? Oh, okay. Okay, so uh, first things first, before we talk to everybody in here. Two, two, okay. Is my magic skill just not hanging with me this time? It's pretty low. 59 is not great. Um, I don't think I could I could do that. Huh. Interesting. I, I want my strength to be stronger ultimately. Uh let's talk to the sculptor first. Sculptor thought things would get a little easier, but they haven't at all. Okay, so then we want to head around. Can I ignore that and talk to the attendant? Attendant can't believe we have to make the silly statue. Okay, so once you've talked to them, let's go talk to the elder now. Because uh, the attendant isn't really interested in doing any of this. I mean, it's your job. Oh, this is not the elder's house. Hey, the Blazagas are back. Yeah, I'm gonna grab those. I really wanted to fill up Irvine's Blazagas. We could probably um, get some more blizzards and turn them into new spells or whatever, but how are they doing? From the look on your face, they must not be working seriously. The Moomba can help us. Please go ask the Moomba outside for help. It will become an order if I ask, so please. Okay, so that's all he has to say. So let's go ahead and turn around and go talk to the Moomba. I guess the Shumi can understand the Moombas, so. You good there, dude? Off he goes. I love it. They're so cute. They kind of remember, uh, remind me of like Red 13. Maybe that was on purpose? They sound so squeaky and I love it. Oh, it's you. What do you want? Attendant isn't going to do that. Attendant doesn't feel like it. The elder said that? That's not fair. The elder is not giving me any choice. Okay, fine. Attendant will work. Off he goes! Isn't he cute? So the artisan agreed to help? Okay, okay, attendant will work. And I think that's all these guys have to say over here. So now that we're done that, let's go ahead and head back to the elder. I think the Moomba has resituated himself outside the house. I guess it does probably doesn't get any weather here since it's like uh, enclosed. Everybody can just sit outside. My attendant is finally working. Great, the statue should be completed soon. Maybe it's none of my business, but what's the point of forcing him to do something against his will? You don't understand. There's nobody in this village who admires Master Laguna more than my attendant. There is a reason why my attendant refused to work on the statue initially. Hmm? My attendant strongly wishes to leave here and fight alongside Master Laguna, not to spend time building a statue. Therefore, my attendant does not want to become an elder. One cannot fight or leave the village once one becomes an elder. A Shumi becomes an elder or something else. I think one must have wits to become an elder. I was very fortunate. I believe my attendant will become an elder someday. That would be really ironic. Is there any way to prevent the evolution? It is not the Shumi way to abuse our knowledge and pursue personal ambitions. All of us have accepted our destinies. 
How sad. Well, it sounds like they may need one more person to help. I would love to see my attendant go and pursue personal dreams. I once had dreams too, but as an elder, my responsibilities must always come first. Okay, so he doesn't say anything new. But yeah, so uh, it is kind of sad. I'm actually not too surprised why Norg went the way he did. Um, because it kind of seems like... He didn't... He was like avoiding that evolution. <laughs> anyway, let's go talk to the attendant. We need to talk to the attendant a couple times, actually. Attendant thinks we need one more skilled craftsman. Artisan, yeah, if we had, yeah, artisan. If we had artisan, it would really help us. All right, well, let's go talk to the guy next door, who's the one that was like washing dishes or whatever. I don't know what he was doing or cooking. Are we interrupting his lunch? Hey, no eating. We got things to do. Help at the shop. Artisan can't. There are tons of things that artisan has to do before artisan becomes a Moomba. Okay, so uh, at this point, we need to leave because there's nothing more we can do here. We have to get something different to make him want to help. So in order to do that, we got to leave the village and we're going to be back pretty quick. But uh, goodbye. Oh God, the elevator again. This is This is why this takes so long. All right, so last things last. Looks like that hasn't respawned yet, so we're just gonna leave. Like, leave, leave. Uh, we need to go back to Fisherman's Horizon. So let's jump on our ship. Jump, jump on our ship. Why are you not letting me in? There we go. And, what? And I want to go around. And we need to go back, actually, where the hell is my map? Because that will make this a lot easier. We wanna go south. until we find Fisherman's Horizon. I don't actually remember where it's at comparative to this island. Also, can you imagine being on this giant ass ship? Where is the, there it is. Where is the actual, there it is. I was like, where is Fisherman's Horizon? We want to go here. Okay. Yeah, and you get to Fisherman's Horizon, you just drive into it, which is hilarious to me. For a variety of reasons, because we crashed into this in order to get this. Good job, team. I don't think anybody here really has much uh, new stuff to say, so... You know, what is with this place in elevators? This part of the game, dude. Free. Please let me free. Oh my god, I'm stuck. Hey, brother. Brother? <laughs> it's Irvine. You know what? I'm gonna do something. I'm tired of sitting around watching others and judging them. 
Yeah. So um, if you do talk to him with the Ravine and convince him that maybe there are different ways of thinking, then he um, responds quite nicely. I think this is regen, by the way. Um, which I don't really care for at the moment, so whatever. Bye! Okay. Uh, let's see. Do there any, but there should be people here. What do you have to say? Anything new? You like me, don't you? Oh, God. Got stuck on the tracks there. Okay. I want to go to the blue door. The cats are here. Can he get in? I don't know what's going on here. Ah! Is this a real Moomba? No way, Jose. You guys went to Shumi Village, huh? Did you meet the guy who made that Moomba doll? That doll reacts to the presence of people who went to Shumi Village. Say, I remember now. So, like, this is the thing that beat up that Galbadian officer. Yeah. High tech, ain't it? I'm a pretty good craftsman myself, but that thing's way out of my league. I got paid. We spoke to the person who made that Moomba and we have a problem. What's up? Hmm. He's got a lot on his mind, but it seems like what you're trying to do is pretty important. Yeah, I'll help. Let's see. Oh yeah, why don't you take that Moomba with you? Oh god, it's small. This baby will solve your problem, guaranteed. Yeah, lots going on, eh? All right, so now that we've got the Moomba and I can get through the little door way, uh, we want to head all the way back to uh, Shumi Village. So I think what I'll do is I will just meet you there. It's a long trip. Okay, back at the village. Let's go ahead and talk to the artisan. Give him the little Moomba. Don't forget, don't grab the Timber Maniacs. Even though I'm tempted to, but no, we, we shouldn't. Did you make that? Yes, it was the gift artisan sent to a friend. Why do you have it? Oh, he built a message into it. Hey, what's happening, bro? Can't contact you directly, so gotta go with this. Oh, it's so good to hear Monkey's voice. I hear you guys are making something. Why don't you quit dallying and just do it? Yeah, bro, I understand how you feel. I guess I'll leave it to him. <laughs> and yeah, so he's just, like, the, the little guy is gonna just sit there and yell at the artisan for a while. But that should... Whoops. That should... Oh, hey. What? What are you doing here? So it was you, boy. The elder was just talking about some kids who came here. So why are you here? I'm an honorary, sh honorary shoe Didn't I tell you before? Yeah, did you see that 3D image in the elevator? I helped them make that and some other te technical gizmos. Got tired of the ocean, so I decided to come out to the pond. Can't stay away from fishing, eh? Guess not. It's in my blood. What brings you here, boy? Oh yeah, is it gonna be all right? Artisan is going to do it. Artisan is going to help. Artisan has been misconceived. Nobody has attempted this before, but Artisan has decided to become a human. He invited me to come to FH. Artisan is going to go. Be happy to have you. Good luck. Thank you. And I think he's going to go help with the statue. So we're going to go next door and talk to the elder. I don't think anybody has anything real interesting to say. So I'm not going to bother talking to them. You convinced Artisan? Excellent. Only your wits could have accomplished it. I was going to offer Artisan this to help us. I guess I don't need it anymore. Please take it. We get a status guard. They may not finish today, but I believe it will be very soon. 
Okay. Um, the status card... Uh, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. Oh, it teaches the um, defense times four ability. Uh, so I think for right now, most of the... T uh, let's see here. Elemental defense. I think you only know uh, four. So like... Um, they have attack and you have defense. So I think it adds a couple more on the bottom there. Um, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, by the way, as you can kind of see here, I think the star... It's because it's maxed out. So I think that's the highest you can get. Now the reason I took that off is because I don't want to accidentally fight an ice enemy and um, not be able to actually do any damage to them because that's a thing that can happen. All right. So with that, we're pretty well done with Shumi Village here. We don't need to come back. Uh, I may, if I'm in the area, I might stop by and yank some Ultima, but I honestly don't think we need to do that otherwise. Uh, like we won't need to come back otherwise. I don't Unless there's some small stuff later. Uh, off the top of my head, I don't remember anything. Um, so we're good here. Uh, at this point, the next big quest that we need to complete is the Chocobo Forests. So that's what we're going to do next time. Um, the Chocobo Forests are... That's a quest. Um, I actually freaking hate doing them. Um, I'm not great at finding the forest because I don't have them all memorized or anything, but we will make do. Really? No more ultimas before we leave? It's fine. And actually the first uh, Chocobo Forest is right next to Shumi Village, so we're not even going to be going that far. Um, it's right there. They, they all look like that. They look like little domes of trees. Uh, Separate to forest. I don't think they're any taller, but they are they're small like that So I will see you guys next time as we go into the ball of trees and catch some chocobo